Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Pedes the Tutor. In this video, we'll be looking at electric circuits, and I'm only focusing on how to calculate voltage, current, and resistance, power, uh, also as well as work done in circuits. Now, we know that a circuit has got cells in which the biggest one is a positive and the smallest one is negative. A circuit is made up of the ammeter with this symbol which measures current it, also, it is also made up of the voltmeter which measures voltage it also has resistors these resistors can be in form of bulbs and they carry resistance We know that according to Ohm's law, which is that the current flowing at the end of the conductor, sorry, flowing through the conductor, is directly proportional. proportion to the voltage at the end of the conductor provided temperature or other environmental conditions remain constant there's no problem So if this is a conductor, right, and current is flowing in form of electrons from positive to negative, and at each conductor, there is voltage, right? Let's so whatever is flowing here, it's current. And I said the current flowing through the conductor is that proportion. That means increasing current, all right, it also makes voltage do what? To increase. When you reduce current, you're also going to reduce what the voltage that's what direct proportion is. that means when the other quantity changes by a certain degree the other quantity also will change by the same degree it, provided that the temperature remains constant the temperature in short which we're talking about here is the resistance now how does Holmes row come in now we have a graph which looks like this current voltage so current and voltage at each point they are direct proportion and this line here that's what we call the resistance or the temperature of a metal or of or, 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 or any conductor so these two are in direct proportion therefore this comes to say current is equal to voltage over resistance this is Ohm's law in which voltage when we make it as a subject of the formula which is equal to current times the resistance you can use any all right these are some of the equations that you can use therefore we all know that voltage another one is voltage sorry i'll try to find another one so once you know voltage all right and current you can find resistance just using this even if you know resistance as current you can find voltage even when you know current and uh, sorry when you know resistance and voltage you can find current let's look at an, an example in the circuit now before we go to an example you need to know that circuits can be in series or in parallel in a series we have resistors connected in this form all right so for so this one r1 R2, R3. So resistors in series, you just add them direct. So total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. This is how you find the total resistance in series. Just add them direct. Keep in mind, current 
in the series is the same. If a circuit has got three umpires, that means at this point there's three umpires, at this point there's three umpires, at this point there's also three umpires. But voltage is different. Voltage at here is not the same as here, is not the same as here. That is what you must know. Parallel connection. Under parallel correction, we are saying the, the resistors are connected like so. Let me just do this, right? So they are connected by something like that. So let me move this and that. So they are connected like that. So these are parallel to each other. How are they parallel to each other? So let me do this. Like that, they are parallel because they are not meeting each other. As a result, if this is the resistor one, this is the resistor two, this is the resistor three. Total resistance will be equal to one over R one plus one over R two plus one over R three, and so on. And this is how you find voltage in parallel connection. Now, you need to know that current is not the same at each resistor is not the same but the voltage is the same if there's a voltage of 12 volts flowing through the circuit at this point we have 12 volts at this point you also have 12 volts at this point you also have 12 volts but current at this point is not the same because we have we because you have different resistors that's what you must know you know that current is equal to voltage over that resistor so according to this the resistor and this voltage you're going to find a different current even at all this let's look at an example then we close we have this question that says the diagram below shows a circuit this is a resistor which is four ohms and this resistor has got 12 ohms and this is a junction between the two resistors and we have a source of voltage which is 6 volts question says calculate the total resistance now these two are in parallel connection so we are saying total resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 this will give us 1 over R1 we can say 4 1 over 12 we know that we can find the common denominator there, which is 12. 4 into 12 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3 plus. 12 into 12 is 1. So we're having 4 over 12, which is 1 over 3. So the total resistance is equal to 1 over 3. Now, what you have this side, just the reciprocal. So we have 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 3 ohms which is the same as resistance which is total is equal to 3 ohms so make sure you swap when, when, when you find your final answer you swap this one goes there this one comes down then b says the current in the four how can you find the current in the four ohm resistor Keep in mind, current is equal to voltage over resistance. These two are, are parallel to each other. As a result, like I said, the voltage is the same. So here we have 6 volts. Even here we have 6 volts. We have voltage and the resistance. So 6 volts over 4 ohms. This will give us 3 over 2 when you reduce which will give you 1.5 amperes. Current is measured in amperes. Then B, how can you find the, the current in the battery? Current is equal to voltage over resistance. The current in the battery is the same as the current throughout the circuit. So the total voltage is 6 volts. 
the total resistance you found it was three so total current is equal to two amperes there you go you can look for other questions try to solve and try to work out i'll keep on seeing you in another video don't forget to hit the subscription button to share and to like my videos i'll see you in the next video i'm previously tutor